Radhika Agarwal and I am a professional maternity and a newborn photographer based out of Delhi, India. You can find me on Instagram by my hashtag memories by Barkha. It would be somewhere in here. Also, you can check my work at my website www.memoriesbybarkha.com. So uh, I was there here for the first summit and I'm sure most of you might have seen me there. And uh, you would already know me that I am an uh, MBA and engineer turned photographer and uh, turning to photography has been the best decision which I have made in my life. I have enjoyed each day behind the lens. I absolutely love my work, especially working with maternity and newborns is something special to me. I love being a part of this beautiful phase of my client's life. And I'm sure each of you would love your work too. So today we would be talking about how do we create maternity portraits that sell. Of course, if you are in here, you either would be a professional photographer already or you might be looking to make that shift from your day job and uh, turning to become a full-time photographer. And all we need to understand and learn is how do we create pictures that attract clients to us? How do we create pictures for which the clients are ready to pay, right? So uh, tell me guys, uh, let's start this and tell me what do you think makes a picture great? What do you think would make a client say wow and pay say x amount of dollars or x amount of rupees for your picture? Let's jot down a few factors and then uh, analyze each of them. Uh, what Lighting, yes definitely lighting plays a great role in uh, creating a picture, creating the mood of the picture. Um, uh, posing, yes, of course, we are dealing with newborns and maternity. Posing is important. Dress, uh, we all get uh, fascinated about that $500 or a $700 dress and we just keep dreaming about it and we think, oh gosh, had I had that dress, it would have been really wonderful and I would have clicked a picture like that. Uh, yes, of course, that dress is beautiful and I'm sure that would make your client look even more beautiful. But remember, a good dress is not the only thing which you need. Any dress would do. A prom dress, a date night dress which you might have got and just get it dry clean, sanitize it properly and try to use it for the sessions. Get a few yards of fabric. Initially, when I was starting out, I remember I got a few yards, like five yards of fabric that was... Uh, purple in color and I used to spend hours in front of the mirror trying to pose, trying to learn how to wrap that fabric all around me and then I did experiment that to my client. Sometimes it failed, sometimes it succeeded but th th that's all a part and parcel of the game, that's how we grow. So where were we? We spoke about lighting, we spoke about posing, we spoke about the dress, we spoke about Emotion is the fourth thing, yes. What's the emotion, what's the bond in the picture which we are going to portray? And uh, of course, the gears you use and all those things, I don't think so, that matters a lot. Trust me, it's the person behind the camera who's clicking the picture, not a $500 or a $5,000 camera can click a beautiful picture, but a person with a $50 camera can definitely create something mind-blowing. Right. So yes, all these uh, things, lighting, posing, dress, uh, emotion, everything is important. But what would set you apart from the other photographers? Everyone is doing this. What would set you apart would be your vision. Yes. What's your vision behind creating that picture? What do you want the customer or the, the viewer to take away when he or she looks at the picture, what is the feeling which you want the person uh, should feel? Let me take an example and uh, explain it to you. Like what was my thought process behind creating that image and what was my lighting and what did I use to do uh, to create that one. So uh, this first image which you are seeing on the screen, so this was, she was a beautiful, confident young lady uh, we even created a TikTok uh, with her. That TikTok is uh, on my feed and had, had almost gone viral with so much of views. 
so uh, what i wanted to create was a dreamy kind of look so yes uh, that is something which inspires me a dreamy look or maybe when the lady is looking confident and uh, yet she has that feminine touch to her so i adjusted my lighting my lighting uh, as you can see in the subject my lighting was towards the left it was falling onto her as if it was just wrapping uh, her around with the lighting that lighting was very soft and i got her to pose she was initially looking at the lighting and then i asked her to bend uh, to uh, not sorry not bend i asked her to turn towards me slightly and uh, there was this pose so it was we did multiple shots but then this was something which i really loved so uh, essentially i wanted her to look confident yet feminine emotive but strong and that was my vision behind this picture and i created something and i absolutely love it my client has ordered a huge frame which is uh, hanging in her uh, home hanging at her home so i also have a printed picture of her in my book i'll show you this book maybe towards the end but yeah here's how the print looks like the image so let's come to the second picture the second picture which you see again one of my favorite images i absolutely love this image and so she was a young lady she uh, is working in corporate a confident woman and when she walked in i immediately had this thing in mind yes i wanted to create a classy and a timeless image for her and here is uh, this image so here in this image the lighting is again towards uh, say for example it was falling on her face it was towards my left and i wanted to capture her strength and her affection for the baby in the same image and that's what we created in this so let's pause for a second and what i want you to do is take out a pen and a paper and write down the feelings and the emotions which you want your images to exhibit your vision how do you want your pictures to look like i want my pictures to look feminine i want my pictures to express emotions i want my pictures the women in my pictures to look strong to look independent and yet uh, powerful and powerful yet connected to their baby so that is something which i want my images to portray and if you would go to my instagram and scroll that is something that that sort of a vibe which my images give and my clients love me for that thing and i almost uh have gotten so many so many good uh, compliments and good wishes from my clients saying that yes i did make them look beautiful and they looked strong in the images and they absolutely loved their images so now just uh hit that pause button for a second for a minute and then just write down those feelings which you want your images to portray and then come back right back in okay so now uh, do we have uh, some of the words written down and we have by now a broad idea on to how we want our images to look like and now since we have that let's move forward let's look for some images which inspire us let's create some ideas in our head say for example it could be a fairy tale character or a movie character or maybe a greek goddess which inspires you or maybe a look through the fashion magazine you can subscribe to vogue vogue would give you certain ideas and then try to imagine and think how would a pregnant lady look like that or maybe uh, go to a, a instagram channel of your favorite maternity photographer and then probably uh, look for inspiration over in there and then gather these images and always save these images what i used to do was i used to have a screenshot of these images in my in a folder on my desktop it it would be still sitting there and it would be named as maternity inspiration and whenever i have a session i always i always try that i go through all these images and i pick up not all but i pick up a few of those images and then try to create something similar so now here is what you have to do 
once you get your images and an inspiration folder, don't go all in with all the images. Just pick up either three or five images and then analyze them. Analyze them for the pose, analyze them for the lighting, analyze them for the editing, for the dress, for the entire scene and write them down, guys. Please write them down. So still till date, uh, whenever I want to create something before every session, I sit with a pen and a paper and I create sort of a mental map in my mind as to what I would be doing in this session. What is that new thing which I would be doing? Or is there any new or a specific image which I want to achieve? So always write in th that down. It helps you clear your head and you go and, uh, go and create some beautiful work. Right, so once you analyze all these images for these four or five parameters, then sit with them, uh, probably have them on your mobile phone, just look at them randomly and then think what is, do you have any similar dress or do you have any fabric which you can make it look like that? Say for example, in that dress, uh, in an image, the girl might be wearing a beautiful pink colored dress which you might not have but then do you have a pink fabric which you can just wrap it around her and create something similar or maybe you might have an old prom dress lying in your wardrobe which you could use and that's all fine so just create now on that piece of pen and paper create your look what do you want this is x image which is my inspiration and this is a y image which is something which i would be creating so here we are not replicating this. We are taking inspiration from this image and we are creating something of our own. And th this, is, this, this is a long process. And I believe as we photographers, we just do this all through our lives. And I, I, I know some of the best photographers from whom I have learned who are my mentors as well. They, they still try something new every single day. And that's what creates amazing work, beautiful work. That's what helps you create work which is just yours, which is fresh, which people love, right? So uh, yes, let's come back to the uh, point. So here we have our images, we have analyzed them to the three, four, five parameters which I spoke to you about, the pose, the lighting, what, what sort of editing has the person done, what kind of dress has the person made and the entire scene. Right, you have created your own image, or at least a mental map of your image. Okay, congratulations, you're already halfway there. Now uh, comes the session day. So for the session day, I would always suggest do the session as you would regularly do. Always create those images which would get you money. Say for example, you have promised an extra number of images for the clients. Always get that and try to get them a little sooner so that you can try and experiment something new. If you have a good rapport with the client, you can always tell that this is something new which I'm going to try with you. Let's do it together. Uh, I have done that a lot of times and what this does is this you know, makes the client go uh, super happy and super excited. Of course, every, every woman in this world wants to feel special. Everyone wants something new, don't we? Whenever we go to a shopping complex or something, we always look for that new collection. We always look for that limited collection and of course, she's going to be super excited. Just say that... Uh, yes, this is an inspiration and this is an idea in my head and I want to bring it to reality. Would you want to uh, pose for that? And she would be more than happy. She would put her heart and soul in creating that image along with you. So do that. Uh, so maybe drape her a fabric or have the set, adjust your lighting, create multiple images and don't just stick to a particular angle or a particular Pose because you know the same thing always results in the same that there would be nothing changed try different angles different lighting positions and be quick click a lot of pictures think think of that vision which you have think of that emotion which you want to uh, portray in your images talk to your clients about it and yes here we have gotten images you say bye to the client then uh, go to your laptop Analyze your work. Always analyze your work. See what went right, what went wrong. Was that a problem in the lighting or would you want the pose to be a little better? Always perfect, perfect, perfect your work. That's how 
you create something amazing. So right, so the, what this does is, this actually brings out that creative person within you. This helps uh, the client trust you a little more. This helps you get a good portfolio and this helps you move towards getting those beautiful and amazing images for which the clients are willing to pay, right? So guys, I would leave you here with this thought. Uh, or, uh, please do let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I would be more than happy uh, to uh, answer them. Also, uh, there is another session in the summit of mine, which is creating maternity portraits with me. I recently had a session and I filmed it with you for you guys. And in that session, there would be some behind the scenes and how I created those images. And I would also take you through what was my mindset behind creating those images and what happened in my session. So stay tuned for that session and uh, thank you guys thank you for watching again you can find me on instagram by my hashtag memories by barkha it's on the ticker in here and my work on www.memoriesbybarkha.com do let me know your questions and please take good care of yourself i loved talking to you and see you soon thank you